Welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. Glad to tell you that everything's starting to turn green. We're getting a lot of good growth on our trees, on our bushes, and we're getting a little bit of growth in our garden. I was a little down in the last video, I know it, but we're having some growth. I'll show you a little bit of it, but the main thing that we're gonna look at in this video is we have Miss Desiree come as a guest, and she was here in our home. She's the one who gave us Miss Blondie, and she also gave us the buggy. And she's gonna give us a quick tutorial on putting a saddle on Blondie, as well as hooking her up to the buggy. Go for a little ride and have a little fun. This is an old Amish buggy that we are going to let Blondie ride us around in. We're gonna create some trails around here on the property, and we're gonna let her pull us and have some fun. Here's Miss Desiree, Hello. and she's with Blondie. Russian. She absolutely hates the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> In a few moments, we will put on a saddle, and maybe I'll go trotting around through the woods, come Lone Ranger or something. Hi ho, silver, away! <laughs> These kids don't understand that. <laughs> You'll want to stand this way, and then I'll show you one more time, just like that. And then you want to make sure, I mean, if it ends up behind here while you're riding, that's what happens. But I always try to keep it in front of the hips because there's a lot of motion here, and sometimes it'll wear your hair off. It's the same way that I put that one on. Just after that one, make sure middle, otherwise you look funny. Normally that would be put up nice and neat because I'll show you how that works too. So, this goes through here. Okay. Keeps the blanket from sliding. This All just to keep the blanket under the saddle. Okay. It needs to be oiled. This is the breast collar, keeps the saddle from sliding backwards. Not so much side to side, but it does help with that also. And then this is gonna go through here. So that's got your whole saddle in place. Then you just wanna check all. Sometimes these get hung up underneath, so you want to make sure everything's loose and nothing's underneath the saddle where it's going to, you know, jab her or be in the way of something functioning like it's supposed to. Uh, all right, so come down with me. This part you want to be centered, but just a little bit to this side of it. That way when you pull it tight, it is centered because if it's if it's over that way, it'll end up way up here on the other side of the horse when you pull it tight because it's going to stretch. So like I'll move it up one more. And that part of the body changes with weight, but more with exercise because it's this. Chest muscles. Yep. So see how that is? If you go to the front, you'll be able to get a little bit of a better judgment. Okay. And then yeah, that goes see. to this piece over here. Right here. Right here. This thing. The reason I had it wrapped like I did, watch this. Okay. All right. Ready. Then that goes through here. Okay. It, it goes in, down. All the way behind, back through, think necktie. Okay. Then back again, then around the front. This is where you think necktie. Through here like this, so that it's coming out the front, through the hole. 
Okay. Okay. So then you leave it loose while you do whatever you're doing. Okay. Then when you're ready to tighten it, she's never needed a or anything like that. You might want to check it after you walk her around a little bit because sometimes your leather stretches when it heats up. Mm -hmm. And this will heat up also and everything that heats up expands. So you'll want to check it like if you get on her and you take her for a walk for a little while, you might want to get off and check it before you take off trotting. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want it so tight that she can't breathe because remember, it's pushing on her chest. You can wind a horse that way, but you don't want it so loose that the saddle comes off when you lose your balance a little bit either. So, this blanket here is a secondary blanket because some of this uh, Aussie saddle didn't really cover. And then when you use it with the bareback pad, it's not necessary in the summer. In the winter, you want to put this between that rubber pad, the rubber saddle and her because you get stack electricity. But once this dry winter coat comes off and she's sleek, you can just put that bareback pad on her and you won't need this at all. Um, but this always needs it because <laughs> she loves you because um, you don't want the leather rubbing her and it's an extra barrier, you know. So that's it, she's saddled. Oh, this part right here from the breast collar. See the hook? goes right there just like that so she is completely saddled next would be your bridle um, the other thing that she uses is the hackamore for when she's driving because you don't need to worry about her running off with, mm -hmm. like it's not the same um, <clears throat> so I always put the reins over the head because that gives me the ability to do this and then they just don't just wander off mm -hmm. I cradle it like this, All right. so it's sitting, Then I just ask her, please open your mouth, good girl, and lift up from the top here. Then to prevent crushing her ears, I always put the far ear in first. So, like that, mm -hmm. and she is ready. I know, it's been a long time. To check your stirrups, rule of thumb, you still might need adjusting, is hand to, like, to the center of the saddle to your armpit. Okay. It's the same length from your crotch to your foot. Okay. So, just like when we go like this, you know, you measure your fingertips yeah. and it's the same. So it's the same for that. And you okay. can tell where you need to adjust your stirrups before you get on. That's yeah. helpful. So you're not up, down, up, down. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. She's ready. All right. She is ready. We're at the corner of the goat pen. We have the field out here. And then we have the garden area over here in the woods. And we got the electric fence that runs straight down through here, if you can see it. And for some, and somehow, some of the goats are getting through right here and coming on this side. Besides that, we came out here to fix this and check it out and see what's going on. And we, and we discovered guinea eggs. Quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, Ten. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. They're cold, so she hadn't started laying on them. I'm going to see what Mama wants to do with this. Now we're gonna go check out the garden, see what's going on up here, see what kind of growth we have. Miss Desiree is on Blondie. And you can see. also if you look where you wanna go before you get there, like when you're driving down the road. She's happy. Because your body will actually, just like when you're walking, Yeah. your body will, will give her a heads up on what you want. Oh, oh, oh. Dan, good girl. Good girl. Good. Okay. And I'll keep her still so you only have to focus on getting one. Grab her man. It angles her body different. Get your
Maya's doing a solo. All right, we're at the cilantro, and I don't know if you can see this. See this row here? The cilantro, and we've got some growing over there, and a whole row there, and a whole nice row back here. So we've got quite a bit of cilantro going. As we're watching some stuff grow, we're also seeing some stuff coming in here and digging and stuff. Looks like it's about time to put up a fence because over here in our beans, we have a few beans going. We have one, one here, we got one there, and I'm certain there's going to be some more popping up. But we have either the goats came through and are walking in here or a deer. Either way, it's time to put up a fence around our garden. An entire backup. Okay. We're hooking up the carriage. Yes. Always make sure that it's facing this way to her because you don't want her pulling backwards. Yeah. <laughs> and this, of course, goes on the top. You just open it up and, it, and oh. you can get her head right there. Okay. So this here, you said we can turn around somewhere down that road or no? Well, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Homestead Mississippi. Y'all be good. Be good to your friends, your family, your neighbors. Be good. It's good to be good. We appreciate all of the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and if you click the bell of course you'll get notifications when new videos hit we're doing new videos every tuesday and wednesday so please check us out share us with your friends like us send us a comment let us know what you think i know i'm not perfect so <laughs> it's all right if you tell me i'm all right with that y'all have a good one be blessed thank you much mm -hmm.